One important feature on the Strike Multipad is the ability to take a sound and route it to different outputs. And it's very, very easy to do. So let's look at how we do it and why it's important. So first I'm going to show you in the kit menu, by pressing the kit button, that you have a separate meter for your main outputs and your aux output. So whenever you're doing your routing, you can be sure you know where your sounds are going. So we can see right now, these sounds are all headed out to the main output. So let's change one of these to the aux output. I'm going to go to the pad menu, and then just go to the output menu, and the very first setting is audio output. So I'm going to click this. Now we have the main plus headphone output, which is the default for a lot of the sounds. We have all of our FX outputs, but right after that is the aux plus phone output. And then one more after that is just the headphones only. So this is great actually if you want to do a, a backing track or maybe something that you don't want to listen to the metronome in the unit but you have your own backing track, you can route it just to the headphones. Maybe you also want to be able to send a sound to a sound engineer and they want to process it separately from your main mix. That's an example of when you would use the aux plus phone option. So I've selected that. Now let's go back to the kit page and now we'll see that this pad is going to be going just to the aux output. The other one is still going to main, and these are to aux. So this makes it very, very easy to do a quick routing, whether you need it for a live purpose or a creative purpose. And that covers the pad output control. Thanks for watching.